All right, we are live at the RP Funding Theater, live at WJRR.com, around the globe. So for those of you who can't be here, uh, you're about to hear a studio audience sound check from the people who are here. So you guys are at a, at a show right now, right? So what do you do at a show? You make some noise, right? Yeah. All right. So, you know, sometimes people get kind of docile on here because it's nice, it's all cushy. We've got all this nice equipment and everything. But I want you guys to pretend like you're sitting right there at a show like you normally would, and people are at our shows, they make a lot of noise. They, 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 uh, they're real receptive to the bands that are about to play, and uh, I think you're going to like what you're about to see. I'd like to uh, bring out our friends in Lit here at the RP Funding Theater here at WJRR.com. <laughs> Jay, Jeremy, Kevin, Nathan, Ryan. And... Uh, I know, I know that everybody's hopped up because uh, we've got our friends from the uh, Five Hour Energy just rolled by. So everybody should be nice and focused right now on, on uh, taking in some music. And uh, I, I believe I saw those guys swigging a couple, so I think they're ready, actually, more focused well, than ever there. Uh, please introduce yourselves, fellas. I'm AJ. Hey, I'm Kevin. Let's go out of order here. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy. Ryan. We're not trying to be cool with our sunglasses, and we're just really hungover. <laughs> we were staring you. Last night was the, the first night of our tour. So. Yeah, we, just, we were just talking about that. First night of the tour last night was at Fort Lauderdale, right? Yeah. Well, South Florida. I was going to wear glasses. Thanks for pointing that out. <laughs> it gets better. You moved north here now. We had a little too much fun. Got the uh, Velvet Sessions tonight coming up. And uh, so... Yeah, the Hard Rock Hotel. So you, you, now, I, you guys were down here for the Florida Music Festival not too long ago. I remember that. Um, so catch us up with the band real quick. I know we've got some music we want to play, but uh, so you've got a new CD coming out, and and this is June the I was a June nineteenth, right? Man, we're still yeah, June nineteenth. The view from the bottom. It's called the view from the bottom. I was just I was just checking out the title of it. What is that? Can we look into that? Any? Well, it's kind of like the, actually the album cover is the five of us. Cheersing with a shot. Cheersing, is that a word? Cheersing, I think it is. We make up words all the time in here, man. <laughs> and, so, we're, and so it's kind of like a view from the bottom of the shot glass, basically. Nice. But it's also kind of a play on words. And I think plenty, plenty of people have probably done uh, shots and, and party to your music before, so I think this is pretty appropriate. You guys? Uh, Salute! Yeah? Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's kind of a, you know, the, the album. You made it. There's a lot of songs on the album, but that kind of, it's sort of like a, a toast to the future, you know. Kind of, uh, Friends and future, man, and uh, you guys are playing music for a living. That's a, uh, yeah. it's not a bad deal, yeah, at all. Doesn't it's a blessing. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, I guess get the music started here because now you guys are gonna, you're in concert mode, right? You guys in show mode now? Yeah. All right, I, we, I told them they, they got to be in show road. <laughs> right on. What are you playing for us first? We're gonna play. A brand I don't new have brand anything. Brand new new oh, there it is. There you go. This is a brand new song called "You Tonight." It's actually the first single of the, of the new record. We've never played it this way before. Live in the RP Funding Theater, yeah. WJRR.com. It's lit.
Nice. Studio audience say yeah? That's a uh, new lit. CD, uh, the view from the bottom comes out uh, June 19th. You're checking us out in the RP Funding Theater here at WJRR.com. Velvet Sessions, Hard Rock Hotel tonight. All right, yes, so make sir, sure. Man, we love Florida, man. It's good to be here. Yeah, man. You guys, have been, you guys have done some road dogging around here, man. Uh, yeah. Now it, we always either start the tour here or finish <laughs> the tour here, and it's kind of a good thing because, you know, we usually tear it up pretty hard when we're in Florida. Either way, so right? We get, if we start the tour here, then we kind of like level out and then pace ourselves in the middle, and but uh, or we end it here and go. Extra crazy. It's a great kickoff, man. Yeah, Florida. Florida's good like that, man. Yeah. It's a good destination. Just want to let you guys know too. We'll be at the Hard Rock Hotel all day today. Before the Velvet sessions, we'll be by the pool having the Bloody Mary sessions. Nice. You guys can all you're all invited. Nice. To it's always good to know. <laughs> Hang out. Uh, Fullerton, California. It's uh, a couple of Facebook friends hit me up. Said, uh, "Is there anyone else famous from Fullerton, California, oh, besides yeah. a whole bunch of people?" Yeah. All right. Mike Ness, Mike uh, Ness, Social Distortion. All right. Um, the Jackson Brown. Nice. Jackson Brown, yeah. Uh, uh, Bonnie Raitt. Did you, oh. you didn't know that, did you? I did not know that. <laughs> Her dad was a professor at Cal State Fullerton. There you go. And I am full of trivia. Dude, here, here's, a, here's a, the guy that says uh, they're great from the Frosted Flakes box. <laughs> it's Fullerton? <laughs> nice. Dude, dude. Oh, uh, dude, you know who else is from uh, Fullerton? Is Nagel. Remember the... 80s art the of like the Nagel. chicks uh, black and white all modern like Duran Duran style. Nagel. That dude Nagel yeah. is from Carl Nagel. Rio the Rio that. album. Yeah, yeah that that art right that classic yeah. iconic art dude, there. That 80s Coke dealer art you know. <laughs> <laughs> dude, well, I think that was the best Facebook <laughs> question ever actually. Very Florida. <laughs> uh, now you got to, as far as the new CD, uh, you know, you've got uh, you had a little bit of time in between. Is there anything anything new you tried out? Did you go back to what uh, got you the uh, the other great songs you brought us? Is there a, was there a formula, a common denominator, or anything? I don't think we really have a formula, but one thing we didn't want to do is force a new record. Um, we went through a lot of stuff as a band, and we just sort of didn't really feel the right kind of inspiration for making lit music. Um, and then it just kind of came naturally. We, you know, after taking that time and letting everything sort of settle, we uh, started banging out songs. So we're stoked, man. It's like, I think some of the coolest songs we've ever written. So, you got a little Feels time good. to do that, man. And then, does everybody, as far as the writing process, do you guys, uh, I mean, does everybody say, hey, I got an idea for a song? Or what's the, the kind of the protocol with you guys? Is, or is there kinda. one? It's kind of like that. I mean, um, we all kind of write, um, we write songs for other people too, and we write different genres of music, country music and pop music and different stuff. And um, so, over the years, even though we weren't making lit music, we were still making music. And um, I think during that process, we actually got maybe a little better. Well, hopefully we got better, but we sort of got a little more into the craft of writing songs and in that process. And um, what's interesting is this is the first record that lit's ever written kind of like this, where it's just like we literally would get a bottle of Jack and a nice. couple acoustic guitars and sit around and just, and just talk and write and come up with songs and... Um, and then it felt it felt awesome once we got in the studio and just you know got to plug in and 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 you know rock out. It was that last song you can. I mean, that sounds like the, the bunch of guys hanging out, writing music right there. Yeah, I mean that's time. what it's all about for us. Is really you know the the process. You know, if the process of making the music isn't fun, then it's not going to sound fun when you listen to it. You know, or it's not going to be fun to play live. So, it, you know, when we're writing, we're sitting around writing or or whatever we're doing. If we're not having fun, we just kind of put it on the on the back burner for a second because it, it, it you know it'll just train we'll reset yeah another bottle of jack maybe kind of get everything ready yes yeah, yeah well, if nothing else if we got the bottle of jack <laughs> we're not having fun we'll just get drunk <laughs> you have fun either way right <laughs> all right <laughs> studio audience say yeah, yeah. yeah. we're still alive for you thank our friends at five hour energy too I mean, you guys, you not, did, how, how, how much have you been up so far? How much, uh, how We've been long have you been away? Hour. Not five hours yet. All right. <laughs> uh, five hours now, so it should be really, you should be on top of it. <laughs> Live at the RP Funding Theater at WJRR.com. If you're just joining us, Lit is in the studio. They've got shows tonight. And moving forward, I uh, started off the tour yesterday and are moving yeah. north up the uh, Sunshine State here. What are you going to be playing for us next? We're going to do a song called The Wall. I think this is the first time we're playing this one, too. Yes, in soundtrack. This is actually a song we wrote um, 
there's above my fireplace in my living room is a picture of um, the four of us, but you know, before Alan passed away, and it was his last show with the band, and it's a picture from behind us, and we're all kind of like, you know, it's the last, you know, the last moment on stage. We're kind of bowing to the crowd and saying thanks, and you can see a bunch of people in the audience and different people from over the years and family and fans and friends and everything, and um, and you can kind of see you know, Al's body language in the picture and just how stoked he was. And it was just, it's a really killer picture. And um, I'm glad you guys brought that. I'm glad you brought it up, man, because I, I know that uh, there's that, that spirit that rolls, you know, when you guys are playing your music, you got it. I know you're feeling that whole scene. And uh, yeah. and being this your second show in, it's got to be pretty special for you to play this song. So uh, yeah, so we, can't uh, wait to we hear actually it. took actually took the picture off the wall and brought it outside in the backyard and we wrote the song about that picture, about that yeah, sort of yeah. snapshot in time, whatever. So yeah. yeah. It's called the wall. One, two, three, four. <laughs> You guys want to stand up for that one, right? Stand up a little bit. There, you can, you can stand up if you Thank want you, to. I, I'm gonna go ahead and stand up if you guys want to. Go ahead and stand up. 
Thank you, guys. And I know that Thank means you. a lot to you guys, hey, right man. On, man. Thank you. Appreciate the music. Uh, I'm real excited for you guys, man. Thanks, man. I appreciate yeah. you. You guys uh, looking down the road here. I know uh, as far as shows coming up, you're getting this started last night. And uh, we were just talking to um, Art Lixkus not too long ago. Um, and we were, they were telling us about the there's a tour coming up that you guys are on. Yeah. With a bunch of bands, uh, you know, like uh, I guess Sugar Ray is going to be on that uh, tour. Yeah, the there. Summerland tour. Summerland is what it's called. It's us and uh, Everclear and Sugar Ray and uh, Jim Blossoms. Jim Blossoms are on it. It's going to be uh, a fun summertime outdoor amphitheater kind of a package, and just going to be a bunch of songs you know, short sets. You know, it's it's going to be a lot of fun. We're we're excited, and you guys are enjoying the both the best of both worlds. You got this new CD coming out, and you get to kind of uh, do a little bit of of. Of both, you know, yeah, a little, little relive some stuff and go into the future with your new stuff. That's gonna be like a, it's like a summer barbecue, man. That tour of just a bunch of old friends getting together and like playing songs everyone knows. As far as um, you know, other shows coming up now. You you are you gonna be in the country mostly, or are you gonna are you try to dip outside the U.S. or? I'm sure we'll get over to Europe at some point. For yeah. Sure. Um, I know you got fans. <laughs> yeah, there. we do actually over there quite a few. And the reason why I ask is we we made some we made some yeah. <laughs> we are huge over there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we have we're a, huge in England. Yeah, we, we have a friends that listen in the UK that are huge fans of the radio station. When they cool. we found out you guys were coming in here, they say ask Nora, they're coming over the UK. Right yeah, we keep, we keep so. getting that from the UK. We love those guys. We're uh, we're definitely gonna try and get over there real soon. Yeah. The UK is the shit. All right. <laughs> as far as uh, you know, with the with the break between the the. Um, the CDs and the music. You guys pick up any uh, any other interests, or do you uh, get into anything else besides music? Or yeah, I mean, we all just kind of. I dabble. take I take <laughs> pictures. <laughs> Kevin's actually he's a badass. Uh, badass photographer. He's got a he's got a picture in the Steven Tyler book, the autobiography. You got a website? You want to put that out real quick? Yeah, KevinBaldus.com. All right. Yeah. That's that's a, that's a, lot fans, a lot of the pictures the on his website, he actually snuck into the concert and took pictures. And <laughs> he doesn't yeah. always have a photo pass. Yeah, he, that's that's part of the fun. <laughs> <laughs> Gorilla style. Yeah. What's your uh, what's your as far as like looking at um, you know, place in the sun, your favorite me memory of when everything really started bouncing out of the house with you guys and your music. People started listening to your music. What's the? Do you have a one memory in, in in general, that comes to mind. Uh, I'll be funny. We just we just mentioned the UK, but I, I think one of the, I mean, c we were on such a uh, roller coaster ride, you know, and we were working really hard, and we were just, you know, we were so busy, we didn't really have time to stop and really, you know, see what was going on. Yeah. Um, but then we got over to Europe, and um, we played this show called the Reading Festival. Oh yeah. And. Um, we had stayed up really late the night before drinking and uh, like coming back from Belgium, and we had to play at noon. And <laughs> so they woke us up at like nine and go in for, to sound check, and we were just miserable. <laughs> we go out on stage, and it's just like this. It was like the second or third day, so there was just trash and fields of nothing, and we're up there, you know, sound checking, thinking, oh, there's gonna be nobody here at noon. <laughs> like, <laughs> and um, we went back to the bus and kind of got ready to play, and then we walked up on the stage. There was just a sea, uh, 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 50 or 60,000 people. Yeah, it was um, gnarly. Just wow. as far as you can see. Yeah. And, Already uh, for you. And uh, the the promoter at the time, was he said that was the biggest crowd he's ever seen for a Open. first opening band or whatever. And when we um, and there's footage of this, actually, I think, on our website somewhere but or on YouTube or whatever. But when we played Enemy, the entire crowd, 50,000 people just jumping up and down and singing the words and I think that was, Insane. we kind of were looking at each other and, you know, trying to hold it together, but I think that was, that was one of those moments of like, wow, man, yeah. it was insane. You just kind of come out of your body at that point. You just kind of, yeah. adrenaline takes over and yeah. you totally. just, uh, no matter how you're feeling for the night before, you just do it. it was and then after that, it was just kind of one thing after the other. I mean, just great tours, great shows, yeah. great opera, just getting, a, you know, getting to see the world and, you know, and just, it, you know, what's cool is like, if, if you name a city, we'll, we can name a you know, <laughs> a radio station or a bar, right. or a restaurant or a venue, or just we've we've been around so many times that it just it's it, it feels like kind of like everywhere sort of feels like home after a while. You know, it's pretty awesome. Well, uh, here's to yeah. seeing it all again because you guys are bound <laughs> to do this thing. So, um, 
It's uh, you're embarking upon. It's really cool seeing you guys actually do this uh, second stint here, knowing when that you're with the new music, what you're about to to do. So we want to thank fun. you very Appreciate much for the music. For um, Appreciate you, you guys coming us. out here too. Yeah. For, uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, and we've only done a couple of performances in this new room, so this you're really breaking this thing pretty good uh, right now. RP Funding Theater, WJRR.com. And uh, we're going to play another song. And part of the reason why you want to be in here, if you're checking this out on the web, is that all these people are really up close and personal with Lit right now. All right? If you want to... This is cool, man. This is a lot better than just sitting in a studio at a radio yeah. station, you know, with just one-on-one. Yeah. -on -one. That's cool, too, but this is much, much better, more real. Yeah. Well, thank you. Let's, uh, let's put a bow on it, and we'll uh, get some pictures <laughs> in there, and uh, send, us, uh, send us off good, man. You guys have done an awesome job. Thank you, thank you very much. This is Lit. Thanks for having us. WJRR.com. Yeah. Here's another brand new song you probably never heard before. <laughs> you guys feel free to join in. And say Appreciate it, man. Thank you. We're lit. Cool. What's up to everybody watching Thanks, online, too? How you guys doing? Tonight, Velvet Sessions over at the Hard Rock, all right? Make sure you check them out. Keyword events at WJRR.com. Cool. And uh, if you want to be here next time, listen up. We'll tell you how to do it, all right? Thank you. Thank you. You guys going to want to get lined up. <laughs>